Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm coming to you from my podcast recording studio. I actually just finished recording a podcast for my Flourish With Purpose podcast. If you want to take a look at it, make sure you check out the link in the description. I talk about just different people's lives and how they've gotten to purpose and also just tips and tricks along the way to not only reconnect to, but to also live in alignment with your purpose because it's not about knowing what your purpose is it is mostly about keeping up a lifestyle that is sustainable enjoyable and exciting so that you can keep sharing and living your purpose and obviously that's something that we talk about on this channel as well so today's vlog is a weekend vlog today is saturday i started out my day with class so i'm currently a master student in ayurveda and we have classes every saturday so started off with that with my morning routine and then i went straight into so I recorded a podcast and now i'm getting ready to start doing some spring cleaning. It is, as I am recording this right now, it is April, the beginning of April, and it's the beginning of spring, or I feel like we're like in the thick of it already. And with spring comes the realization of what we've accumulated over the winter time and just over the years. So my housemates and I are going to be doing a little sweep of our house. We're gonna be doing a lot of just cleanup and tidying up of old clothes, you know, utensils and kitchen appliances and things that we don't need anymore just to start the year, like the seasonal year fresh for a lot of people. Spring is their new year and I really believe that it really feels like a new year. You've emerged from the winter and now we are into the sunshine again. So we'll be doing that and I'll be taking you along for the ride. Also, before we go into the rest of the vlog, if you have really been enjoying this YouTube channel and all the vlogs and all the videos so far, make sure you press like and hit subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want to see, what things you want me to talk about, what you're curious about, and we can dive into it. So we started with the kitchen, just kind of cleaning things out from the kitchen that we don't really use, getting rid of some bowls and plates and mugs and cups that aren't really what we need anymore. And like we don't really, we really only use a few things at a time. And so we're like cleaning out some of the things in our cupboards and reorganizing things in the pantry. And now I'm going to be individually tackling my closet. So spring cleaning to me is not about getting rid of everything it's just about getting rid of the things that i don't really use or really wear anymore so when i go through my closet i'm just looking for items that i haven't used in a long time like over a year if i haven't used it in the season and i'd rather just give that to somebody else who would take care of it and wear it more and just take better care of these clothes so that is what i'm going to be up to as i'm going through my clothes i realize that I actually don't have a lot to give away or like to get rid of because I'm constantly like going through my clothes and looking at, okay, do I even wear this? Do I even like to wear it? And so when I'm looking at my closet, I think to myself, could I put this on right now and wear it if the occasion was right? And if the answer is yes, then, and I would like it, then I keep it. So a lot of these things here, like I actually do wear. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking I would have a lot to give away or not like use but even like all of these i do use all of them and they all are occasional clothing items so i guess i don't have a lot from my closet to get rid of like i thought <laughs> luke what does spring cleaning mean to you spring cleaning means work it's work i'm tired already yeah but also it's like mentally exhausting because we have to look at everything and be like nope don't do need i that. use this do i still need this um what else <laughs> But it's a chance to say thank you and goodbye. Lots of stuff Marie to get Kondo. rid of. Marie Kondo, really foundational. Spring cleaning is rediscovering clothes that I really like. It looks good on you. Thank you. That fits again. Hell yeah. <laughs> so at first, I went through all my stuff and I was like, hold on, am I like avoiding some things or do I really just not have a lot going on over here? And I realized I actually get rid of stuff occasionally when I start to feel like things are piling up and as I look at all of the things that I have and I'm like going through them they're all items that I'd end up using anyway 
And so I just want to say like I probably could live a minimalist life and not have a lot of items I know that a lot of you that are watching this also do kind of like live a minimalist life or you've been interested in that kind of lifestyle And this is really important to me because I grew up with parents who like to have a lot of things Mom and dad if you're watching this I love you But you have a lot of stuff that you don't need and you're saving it for a specific occasion and I just didn't really enjoy having a lot of stuff in my house so I feel like this compulsive need to make sure what I'm using is out and what I have are the things that I use or I know I'm going to be using so that's just my little spiel um, on material things and I just want to show you guys this super cute this is a binder that Luke and I have been keeping since we started dating and there's little they're just sheet protectors and we've put in things from when we started dating every year this is like these are vows written and some um passports not passports tickets oh my gosh look at this cute oh my god i have to show you guys these are pictures of us babe remember when my hair was this short Whoa. at your cousin's wedding oh my gosh that's wild and now it's what three feet and it's literally 30 31 inches we just measured it the other day <laughs> So I was just talking to our friends about how our my parents specifically, again, love you mom and dad, have a lot of stuff and that's why cleaning out and pruning out and donating things feels really good to me. Do you have that experience? I feel like you don't. I mean, I don't because I'm not home often. But that's when true. I do, when I am home, I'm like, yo, y'all have a lot of stuff. But it's okay, they're gonna get rid of it. Another thing that I think is an honorable mention around this time too is spring cleaning isn't only about your items, it's also about anything that you want to clean. So if that looks like your timeline, your subscription feeds, or your subscription feed on YouTube or even like on other apps and the things that you're subscribed to, maybe you don't need to have monthly boxes of new soap sent to you every month or a monthly box of crystals sent to you. Oh yeah, that's my coffee cup. I left it there. Teehee. <laughs> I like to also use this time to clean up who I'm following. Um, not because I want to get rid of people on my timeline, but because I just want to make sure when I'm going on socials, because I do a lot of work on my socials. Bye. Bye. It's easy to just press follow um, on your Instagram page and on TikTok and also on YouTube, but also taking into account like, is this up to date with me? Does this feel authentic to me? And even the way that you speak, the way that you act, the way that you treat yourself. Spring is a beautiful time to reevaluate. How do I want to come into this new world energetically? You know, so that is the other thing on spring cleaning and we will continue. Okay, Steve, so we've been spring cleaning out here. Mm -hmm. My question for you is, what does spring cleaning mean to you? Oh. Oh, I was so nervous. That was a good question. <laughs> She's getting why what are you doing, Kiara? What is spring cleaning to me? Well it's like a different now because before it was like you have to do this and I was like, whack! And now it literally just means cleaning. Like no it just like means any cleanup. like nothing nothing else like offense. Yeah. Cool. And just cleaning up. Pretty cool. But I Ooh. like it this time because we have our own spot. And we do. And we're like yeah. shedding things that we don't really use anymore. Thanks for answering. Got it. What does spring cleaning mean to you? A designated time in the majority of the population when we are reminded to check ourselves um, because we come from people that hoard. Um, naturally, over time, you're just like, oh yeah, I might need this, I need this, and then you don't realize that you start hoarding and you start protecting yourself and like getting things just in case, and then you get to this point and you realize, oh, I actually don't, I actually need, don't need this. Yeah. And if we are blessed and lucky enough for like the point of like, oh, if I really did need something, then I can kind of go get it. I can um, figure out how to And get I can it. figure out how to do it, do without it, or actually go out of my way to get it later on. Um, yeah, I also think it's really just, even though it's cleaning, I think re refreshing, th re refreshing something in your home to make you more mindful of yeah. the fact that you just did it. So if you move certain things around, then you're like, oh cool, then the next time I do this, I might do it again. Yes. Yeah. I love that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for answering. 
Thank you for asking. Look at this organization. Great job. Thank you. So Luke and I got, well, we made these paintings actually. Our first year of dating, we went to a cute paint and wine night and we just had these two elephants. And his first apartment was decorated with a bunch of elephants for some reason. I really like elephants. Yeah. Is that why? Yeah. We got like an elephant lamp, elephant. Tapestry. Tapestry and paintings. And so now we're finally going to <laughs> put this on the, like, up on the wall? Yeah. Since it's just been under our bed for a long time, today is just the day to do the things we've been putting off. You know, the finished product. So we're pretty much done with cleaning and arranging. And now I'm finally taking Kiara out for a little stroll. In one of the last vlogs, I told you about her foot injury. So just a little update, she's doing a lot better. The vet said that she is, you know, like her nail's just gonna grow back and we're gonna be back on track. <laughs> Okay, so where are we going right now? We go to Goodwill first. We're going to Goodwill. And Thai food. And then we're going to get Thai food. And water. And then and we're going to fill up some water. And? Yes. If we can, we'll get trash bags, but we can always get that. Maybe on the way home tomorrow. Oh, hi. That's what you You said and what? And? These nuts. Uh, Ooh. A good time. That's where we're going. Good morning! It's Sunday and I'm about to go to the gym. I'm just making my pre-workout. Drink. Um, using veg as usual. And it's a leg day. Hello! I have just finished our Flourish with Purpose call. So within my coaching program, I do calls every Sunday and I just get to hang out with, coach, chat with all of the beautiful women in the community. And today, one of the big topics that we were talking about actually was in a line with my conversation with you yesterday. Well, for you, it's the same video, but yesterday about spring cleaning. And we were talking about shedding and letting go of old habits and Right now, as I'm recording this, I'm in between, for any of the astro girlies, two eclipses. So in between the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse, the solar eclipse in Aries is going to happen tomorrow, um, Monday. And usually eclipses in astrology speaking terms <laughs> is all about shedding and letting go and releasing like in a big way. So usually like every month or so within the full moon is an idea or a time for people to like let go but within eclipses is like a big shedding so like a shedding of an identity or a shedding of a big habit and so the idea of shedding had come up within the call and one of the things that i just spoke on just to kind of bring a new perspective to oh i'm realizing that i need to let go of some of these things and some things that i've been doing just aren't serving me anymore which is a really great way to think but we can also look at it as a way for us to just embrace the beauty and the diversity that comes with life where we have so many more opportunities now because of things like the internet because of all this connection that we have we have the opportunity to try new things and to really allow ourselves to be excited about different things i journal every morning but my journal prompts are going to look different very often and like I'll find a structure that works for me. I'll do it religiously for six months. I'm doing one right now for like, I've been doing it like the same thing for three months. It's like the same questions. What am I grateful for? You know, what am I open to receiving and affirmation, like things about my day, blah, blah, blah. But sometimes I'll just get tired of it and I'll be like, okay, I feel like this is stale. I feel like I'm just writing to write and I need a refresher. I need something new. Um, and that's not, I mean, it can be for some people about, like giving up or being bored too easily but we can also rewire it if you want to just to make your life experience a little bit more enjoyable i'm ready to try something new i'm ready to do something different i'm ready to allow myself to be more excited about something else and 
If that means letting go, growth and letting go are the same dance. Growth and letting go come hand in hand. You gotta let go if you wanna grow. You gotta let go of something if you would like to grow into another version or to another level or just to see what is on the horizon. You know, we don't need to be always going up and up even though really you are always going up and up. Things that I was doing was no longer working, which is true. And there are better things for me. So that is what we're talking about in this call. And all the calls within Flourish with Purpose are recorded and they're in the library. So when you come into the program, you actually get a whole index of all of the things. So you might go back and go to April 7, 2024's Zoom call and see it there. And you'll know what I'm talking about <laughs> if you do join. If you want to, make sure you check out the link. Everything is in the description, but I'm just finishing up. I'm gonna upload this video right now into the portal and I'm gonna get dressed, I'm gonna get ready. Luke and I have um, a social day today. We're gonna go see some friends who just moved into their house and we're gonna help them unpack, see what else is up and what's going on over there. And then we're gonna have dinner at this restaurant in LA, it's called Planta. And there's a lot of different locations in the U United States. I think there's also a location in Toronto, but it is this fully vegan restaurant, super cute, beautiful vibes. And I'm gonna take you along. <music> up at one stop we hung out and ate ttla so these sandwiches from whole foods so good vegan um tempeh tomato lettuce avocado yes exactly yes shout out to our friends our besties brian and sammy introduced us to those sandwiches and now well we are on our way to another food place um planta cocina it's just a vegan restaurant <laughs> I'll show you what we get. I didn't end up showing you what we got from Planta because we were just socializing and also the food was coming in and out so fast. But rest assured, it was a delicious meal and we just had a very full week of socializing. So I think we were just really tired, but that was the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you've been liking the vibe, make sure you do so. Check out all the links in the description to connect. And I hope you're having a wonderful morning, noon, day, or night, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.